Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone, so here is the review of last week's profile. So I just unzip the file here and let's go to the chart. Okay, so let's start with Australian dollar pairs. So odd USD, nothing touch. Odd CAD, same, odd CHF, same, odd New Zealand. Okay, odd New Zealand. We have some levels that touch. So the first is so first level of the week is this one and we have this with a long tail going down this is a pin bar so the pin bar the entry is 48 percent of it stop loss right here and this would have made like 10 pips stop loss and it made 35 so this trade is a winning trade for the swing trading strategy then we have the second level right here. This two big candle with big wick. We would have waited another confirmation right here, but we don't have any confirmation, so there is no trade right here. Then OGPY, no trade. Odd Singapore, no trade. Euro odd, no trade. GBP odd. Let's see what we have. So GBP odd. This didn't touch the level. This one made a pin bar just exactly touching the level. So the entry at 48% is triggered and this is a losing trade and after it made a nice pin bar and reverse after but we don't have any level so we don't take this trade next CAD CHF Singapore and metal pairs so CAD CHF no level same here CHF GPY no trade CHF Singapore this is a dotted line, so I would have waited for a breakout trades. And it made a very nice pin bar right here, but I don't count it. You could have eventually entered this specific trade with the retracement entry, stop loss right here, and this one is a winning trade also. But uh, since the level is a dotted line, I don't count it. Singapore GPY, no trade. Gold, no trade. Silver, no trade. And the silver euro, we have one level that it touch, and uh, it's at the end of the week, but I expect one more level of drop. But the correct entry would have been breakout of this specific doji, and it didn't trigger. So this trade would have been uh, cancelled after the next candle, don't trigger it. So no trade here. Now let's look at euro pair. Okay, Euro USD, nothing touch. Euro CAD, no level. Euro CHF, we have a level. Touch during the week. So what happened? Eventually this level broke right here. And after we have a doji broken down. So this could have been a losing trade. Right here. And after you have an angle thing candle right here. So you could have entered eventually at the retracement entry right here, stop loss right here. And this is uh, running 14 pips and it is 24. So it's raining, uh, I don't count it, I just count one loss right here. Now, Euro New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand broke a lot of level this week. So, what happened during this specific week? We have this pin bar triggered, and this is a losing trade. And after, what do we have? So this made another pin bar right here, and you can have a second losing trade. And after, what do we have? We have a long candle, big week right here, f finishing exactly at the level. You could have entered exactly here, stop loss right here. And this one made uh, how many? 37. It made two rewards, so you finish break even on this one. If so when it's a big candle like that, you can reduce your target profit, eventually take two reward, would be okay. I don't count it, I just let you know. So there is two loss and this one would have been break even with a three reward uh, ratio. 
Now let's look at Euro GPY. No level touch. Euro Singapore. Euro Singapore, we have this level nearly touched with a doji. Didn't break down right away. And it's, it was a very nice winner. I don't count it. Euro Hong Kong, no level. Euro knock. Euro knock, no level touch. Euro ZAR, same. And Euro SEC. So Euro SEC, it was a level from last week. It's a winning trade from last week. And after didn't touch anything except on Friday night. So that's it. Nothing to count here. Now let's look at GBP. Okay, so GBP knock, no level touch. GBP sec, same. GBP try, same. Euro GBP. We have trades there. So this was a trade from last week. But we missed because didn't touch exactly the level. And after, what do we have? We have a breakout of the level. This doji didn't trigger broken up. So no trade. Actually, there is no trade. Here. Let's look at GBP. GBP Singapore. GBP Singapore. What do we have? So we have this spike touching the level and just after a doji. Eventually, you could have taken the break of the doji. Stop loss right here. And this one is at two rewards, so whatever happens is a break even or eventually a winning trade. I think it will continue to go down. I expect two more level of drop. So nothing to count there. GBP New Zealand no level. GBP GPY didn't touch. Let me check. Oh, it was very close. Didn't break down, so there is no, no trade right here. GBP CAD down. So what happened on GBP CAD from the beginning of the week? So we have this doji didn't break down, so no trade right here. After price go again and make an angle thing, it's a very big candle. You could have entered at the middle of this, stop loss right here, and this one is a losing trade. So it's December and it's NFP week, and we can see some... Uh, some bad trades. So what about next? So in the other side, when this level is broken up significantly, we can see it make a W formation right here. And we have a confirmed pattern with this specific angle thing going up trade. So the entry is retracement entry right here. The stop loss is way below. And we have three reward on this one. So this one, when the level is broken, 35 pips and it made uh, 100 uh, tac tac 20 so this one is a winning trade actually because the trend is up and uh, it made an angle thing exactly at the level a very strong level right here so now let's look at gbpchf gbpchf Doji not really broken down and eventually one loss here because if the last doji broke a bit a bit lower right here and after this one is a losing trade so one more losing trade and uh, that, that's it now let's look at GBP USD and GBP USD same we have a trade very close to the level right here, so I can count an entry. Entry is a breakout of the doji, it triggered, and the stop loss is a little above. So, you have a stop loss of, let's say, 17 pips, and it made already, uh, tac tac 40, 50 pips. Nearly 3 reward, actually. But didn't trigger. So what I do is I put my stop loss to break even, whatever happened. So no trade to count, let's look at New Zealand. New Zealand USD, what happened? We have this doji broken down, so eventually one losing trade. Then price break up significantly, and we have a railroad track. So this railroad track can be a second losing trade. Then we have this one doji broken up. 
and this is a very nice impulse move so eventually you have the breakout of the doji to take for a buy or you have the retracement entry which trigger also and this this would have been with a stop loss of 19 and it made uh, 52 53 so we are still on the trade no, no winning to count but it's a good to reward right now that's it for this level and I counted the losses now look at New Zealand CAD so New Zealand CAD this hammer didn't broke down so no trade right here and after we have the same hammer but it didn't touch the level so there is no entry and it was a nice winning trade and after it's the end of the week so we have nothing too much to do so no trade to count New Zealand CHF it's start of the week with breaking the level so we have eventually one loss from Friday last Friday I count it one loss and then what do we have? We have very nice pin bar at the level. Retracement entry didn't trigger, but the breakout trigger, and this one makes two reward. So it's a winning trade. And after we have a doji at the level, but it was on Friday, so no trade to take. So one win with two reward right here. Since it's a breakout entry. I repeat, you can have both entry prepared and you just cancel when one is triggered you cancel the other one entry at the breakout uh, at the breakout of the candle and one entry one entry at the breakout of the candle and one entry at the replacement so you don't miss any trade now let's look at uh, New Zealand GPY New So New Zealand GPY, we have a pin bar right here, retracement entry, it's a losing trade. And after we have an engulfing candle and the middle of this engulfing is also a losing trade. And that's it. That's it for the week. So two losing trade on this pair. Now we are done with New Zealand, let's look at USD. So USD CAD, nothing touch. USD GPY one level broke breakout of the doji right here it's a losing trade I think this is the worst week since the beginning of the year then what do we have breakout of this one and in the other side we have uh, an angle thing and this one is a losing trade so no trade right here but here we have this doji breaking down ah, actually let me check how many pips so stop loss is 20 and now oh, it made only 16 so this one is a losing trade and no entry after that so let's look at USD Singapore no level touch USD ZAR same SEC GPY same USD Polonia same USD Danish Krona, nothing. USD Xetch, nothing. And USD HUF <laughs> during Friday, and uh, it didn't touch exactly the level, but this one, uh, this one was a good trade. I don't count it anyway, so no trade anymore. So for the swing trading strategy, we are done for the week, and we have 6, 12, 13 risk losses, and we have uh, tag. 3, 6, 8, 8 reward so the whole week is uh, tac, 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 uh, 5 risk losses which make it 10% loss for the week then let's look at the pending order so pending order it should be faster on this chart nothing, USD Xetch nothing, USD Danish Krona nothing, USD PLN same, Sage GPY same, same, USD Singapore nothing, what about this, this was inside the envelope so no trade, uh, USD JPY nothing outside the envelope, USD CAD same, now let's look at New Zealand, New Zealand USD let me zoom in 
So this one didn't touch exactly the envelope and after it was inside. So we have no trade and the first level was inside the envelope. So there is no trade on New Zealand USD. New Zealand CAD. Okay, New Zealand. We have one trade right here and this one is a losing trade. And after didn't touch outside the envelope. So, so far one loss. New Zealand CHF. Outside the envelope we have only this level and this level touch on Friday. So this trade is running exactly at the envelope. Stop loss didn't trigger and it made already 0 5 reward. I think this one would be a nice win but we will see that on Monday. Okay, so New Zealand GPY. It touched the level. Let's see how many pips it did. Okay, so the touch was right here, the first touch, and uh, obviously triggered the entry, and the uh, target profit would have been 46, and 2 reward is 28, so it made 2 reward and reverse just after. So we have, we would have been stopped break even, and after if you look exactly at the level, the stop loss would have been around 15 plus 2 pips, which make it 17, so it didn't trigger the stop loss actually and after it made it. I don't count it, but just to show you it would have been stopped at break even. <coughs> so that's it for New Zealand, let's go on GBP pairs. So, so far count one loss. So GBP USD. Yeah, didn't trigger the level, it's a shame. It's a shame, it was very close, and after it would have made this one uh, 60, 66 was the target, so it made two rewards. <coughs> so GBP USD, no trade. GBP CHF outside the envelope, same. GBP CAD, outside the envelope actually, let me zoom in. Outside the envelope, there is no level right here, so no trade. GBP, JPY, outside the envelope, no trade. GBP, New Zealand, same. GBP, Singapore. GBP, Singapore. This one touched the level, but the level was inside the envelope, so there is no trade. Euro, GBP. Outside the envelope, there is no level, no trade. GBP try, no trade. GBP sec, same. GBP not, same. Now let's look at Euro. Okay, so Euro sec. Touch last week, 16.48, and it made 3 was. This one is a win from last week, but I think I counted already, so let's go. Euros are nothing, Euro knock nothing. Euro Singapore. This one would have triggered because you always place the level minus the spread. So the spread was 0 0.5, so you would have you would have entered this trade actually. So this trade was outside the envelope, touch on Monday. And uh, this is obviously a very nice winning trade. 16 pip stop loss and 48 <coughs> target profit. It made 100 pips, so no doubt about it. Now let's look at Euro New Zealand. So the only da -da -da, let me check. Zoom in. So this one from last week. This one has trigger ah no from Monday actually. So trigger on Monday right here and made only two reward. Actually it's a break even trade. So there is no loss right here. What about after? So that was the first touch right here. So that was the first touch right here. After we have this level inside and outside this level on Friday but didn't touch exactly so there is no trade. Now Euro CHF. Outside the envelope, no level, no trade. Euro CAD, same and Euro USD finally same. Let's look at CAD CHF Singapore and Metal. 
So, so far for the pending order you have one loss and one win. Ok, no trade, no trade. Singapore GPY, same, CHF Singapore. Let me check that. It's a dotted line, so no trade, but this one would have been a nice trade. I don't count it. CHF GPY, no trade. CAT GPY, no trade. CAT CHF, same. Now let's look at Australian dollar. Okay, so GBP odd outside the envelope, there is no level. Your odd, same. Odd Singapore, same. Odd GPY, same. Odd New Zealand. Let's zoom in. So, odd New Zealand, we have this level was inside the envelope, the first one. Then we have the second one at the envelope. Eventually, I will count one loss right here. This one, stop loss would have been uh, 12 plus 2, uh, 14. I didn't touch the stop loss, and after it made 36. One thing I can clarify with you, because it's uh, I check it's important. When you take a stop loss, you take the 3 times ADR right here, plus a margin, which make uh, when it's around uh, 117, 150, you place 2 to 3 pips additional to that to make sure the stop loss will not get triggered. And you enter a little bit above, so you additional the spread to that. But when you, when you define your target profit, you take this value, so 11.7 times 3. So I would take 12 times 3, 36. So in this case, it's a tight trade, but it's 38 pips, so it's a winning trade actually. And I can count it as this way, because that's the right way you should plot your stop loss, target profit, etc. Odd uh, GPY, we did it, odd New Zealand. So there is only this level, and after that, odd CHF, no trade, odd CAD, no trade, and odd USD, no trade, didn't trigger outside the envelope. So the total result is 2 win and 1 loss, which makes 6 reward and only uh, 1 risk, so 5 reward win multiplied by 2%, the pending order has 10% profit. So the total swing trading strategy 10% loss, pending order 10% profit, so all in all we are break even for the week. Thank you for watching and see you next week for the review of my trade. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading, see you soon!